Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and I'm super excited to bring you my top 10 crafty supplies for 2019 that turned into 12 instead of 10. I just couldn't narrow it down to only 10, and these are in no particular order. If you've been watching my videos, then you know that my first number one is for adhesive is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. This is a liquid adhesive, and I always keep an extra one on hand because look, this one right here, I'm almost out of. But this adhesive has been really good to me. I've been trying it out for the past year. I used to use another liquid adhesive that was super, super sticky. But when I used it in my classes, people would get it on their fingers and they couldn't get it off. The second tool is this retractable craft pick. I use it on almost all of my cards. And so anyway, back to the adhesive. So this one, I always test my adhesive by making cards and putting them on my desk for a while and seeing if they stay together or if they fall apart. And some of them pass the test and some of them don't. And so far this liquid adhesive by Nuvo, the deluxe adhesive, has really won me over. It keeps my gemstones on, it keeps my card fronts, my card fronts on the card bases and all of my sentiments together. It has really been wonderful. And this craft pick I use a lot too when I get a little extra glue, I can just clean that up around those gemstones or around the sentiments. It's a really great tool. I also use it for popping out die cuts when they are stuck in the die cut themselves. So anyway, those are my first two here. Here is my card. I'm not gonna say anything about this Teflon bone folder, although I do love it. It didn't make the top 12, but if I was doing 13, then maybe <laughs> that would be on there too. It did not make a shiny crease on the front of my card like a lot of bone folders do. This Teflon one is really great. The third thing is these domed blending tools. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love these. I use these a lot. They are by scrapbook.com. They have a, a gray handle already and you can buy extra little foam pieces for the top. So see, you can pull those off. They are domed, so you're not gonna get any harsh edges. And they are a little more, they're a little higher than the other ones. I still use those other ones for my inks, and I like to use these domed ones for the oxides because the handles are already gray. <laughs> anyway, you can use them for any ink you want. But I just wanted to show you a really quick demonstration of how quick these go on. I'm gonna speed this up here for you so I'm not taking too long, but it really is quite fast. So I'm gonna ink on the first color here of the oxide. I'm gonna add some chipped sapphire with the second color. And I don't like to get my fingers inky, so I just have this post-it tape that I stick on my fingers to hold the paper. And that way I don't get fingerprints on the card as well. But look at how well these domed blending tools work. They blend on the color a lot faster than it took me before and that's really great for when my hands are hurting when i've been working too much i just want something a little bit easy and these fit the bill so when i got these i wanted to have one for all of my colors of ink i wanted the rainbow of colors so that i didn't have to keep changing out those pads so what i did is i got this color case and i put them in this color case and I realized that they were, it's a little tight fit. See how they're kind of squished in there? So I thought to myself, you know, that's what I really wanted this color case for was to hold my domed ink blending tools. So this one right here, the one that I'm showing you right now is the half ounce, 0.5 ounce here size. So I ordered the one that's a little bit larger to see if it would work and I haven't tried it yet. I'm trying it to today with all of you so that you can see if it works or not. I thought that maybe the handles would fall completely through the holes on this one because they are a little larger. These are really made to hold your Nuvo drops so that you can store them upside down. But I already have shelves that I keep my Nuvo drops on so I didn't think I needed it for that. So the whole reason I got them was for these domed blending tools. Now look, I'm gonna put it in there. It looks like it's gonna to be too big, but when I pick it up, it doesn't fall through. So these are gonna actually work better because I'll be able to fit them in without them being so squished. The only downside is I can't fit my gray one in there. I use that one for gray, sometimes black, but I fit most of the other rainbow here. 
So that's going to work great. And now I'm going to keep this other one. I'll keep that for my random gray one and probably when I have my black one. But I'm also going to keep some of my stickles upside down that are almost out. I use this Christmas red a lot. And I also use the Stardust stickles. You know, that's one of my favorites. So those are going to be stored upside down now. And I like to keep them at the very top of my desk so I always have them accessible. So most of these items I'm sharing today, my top 12, are new for this year or new to me. And so that's why I'm sharing these and I wanted to share them with you before creativation. Here's my next one, these Nuvo Media Spatulas. These came out just this last year, 2019, and I adore them. They are a little bit, well, I'll tell you in a minute because I'm gonna show you with this Nuvo Glacier Paste how they work. The Nuvo Glacier Paste is also brand new from this year, from this past year that came out in July. And they have all these beautiful colors. You can see the red and the green and the two blues. The one's more of a turquoise blue and one's more of a sky blue. And then I had a silver and a gold. And I'm just gonna show you just how this works. So I'll tape on my stencil real quick. This stencil is also new and one of my favorites from scrapbook.com. And these, I, I like to keep the this wrapper on because I think that it keeps it from drying out faster. You know I live in Arizona, so everything dries out faster. So that's why I have that on. But this one, I'm gonna do the silver, and I'm just gonna put it all over so that you can see this spatula is a very flexible. And that's what I love about it because you could actually use this to scrape off any extras, but I found this Decafoil stencil pal this year. Actually, just like a month ago, I just got this. And it is awesome because look, I can scrape the top of the stencil so that the, the glacier paste is all the same over the entire stencil. If I missed a few spots, I can add a little more, but then look, it is completely the same and I can scrape it off the scraper here with my media spatula, put it back in so there's very little waste of the product. So cool, and look at this glacier paste. It almost looks like foil when it dries, and I'll show you a little bit later. I can clean this up with my spatula as well, but I had a little red ink on there, so I didn't want to put it back in my jar. It is really important to clean your tools right afterwards, and so I went and did that, and now I'm gonna share with you the Decafoil Metallics Gel. This I learned about last year at Creativation, and I, fell in love. I have five of the colors here. There are actually six. I somehow miss, miss the copper one. This one here is the champagne mist. So pretty and so light, such a light color. This one is the pure gold, which is also beautiful and it dries gold, uh, shiny gold. This is the white pearl and it has like a pearlescent color to it. Here's the pewter one, which is more like a silver. And then we have this black ice, which is really adds kind of a fun look. I have a video where I've shown you what these look like on all the colors of paper. And if I remember, I'll, I'll link it here. So I'm gonna take this stencil from Gina K and I'm gonna show you what the white looks like on this gray cardstock. This, it's just so beautiful. I'm gonna use my other media spatula, the bigger one here. And this is thicker than the glacier paste. This is more like frosting, like a thick frosting. The glacier paste was much, much thinner. So you can see this is a little bit harder to, to put on, but it is worth the effort because wait until you see. So I'm going to take the stencil pal here, scrape that off so that I can get an even texture, hopefully, over this. <laughs> and I'll just scrape the rest right back into the jar. Again, cleanup right away is very important. Here is a look at that pearl. I'm gonna show you a little bit later, but you can kind of see the pearl pearlescent to this here. It's gonna be very, very pretty. I'm gonna go clean these supplies and I'll be right back to share the next thing. The Ranger Craft Mat is my number nine pick. And the reason is, is because it is so smooth and I use it for a lot of my card making, most all of my card making, but you can see that it's seen better days. It has a few little nicks and blemishes. So I found on Amazon a Teflon sheet and it was so cheap for two of them and I thought, 
I found the jackpot because I like I like these working on these but this has a different texture it's got more of a texture to it it's not as smooth and I started using it you can see it got stained and warped and a little bit of scratches on it and so I went right back to my beloved craft mat by Ranger instead so not all craft mats are made the same. Just wanted you to know that. So I still love my craft mat and I, I will use it. Now here I am with my list here. Did that, did that. <laughs> Checking them off. And now I have something else to share with you. This did not make my top 12 for the year. And it's because I just barely got it. It's not even open. I'm going to open it right here. But look what I did. I put the box right on top of my Decofoil Pearl Metallics Gel. This box is kind of big, but here's what's inside. It's the tonic glass mat. Now, yes, this has been out for a little while. They package it up really nice. It's got those corners on it. You can see all the reflections in there. There's my mirror. There's my light. I'm just going to go move that light back and see if that makes a difference because see that reflection there. That's going to fix that a little for my videos. There's still a little bit of a glare. I'm going to have to redo my whole video setup if I decide to keep using this. But it does have that white craft mat, and I kind of like that. We'll move on, and you tell me if you have the glass mat and if you like it. I'm going to keep testing it out. The number 10 item is the Misty Stamping Tool. This here is the Mini Misty that I recently got because I was finding that the original Misty, which is this one here, was kind of getting off screen when I, when I made videos. So I really like the Mini Misty. Now I have... A few of these because I do teach classes so I have some for classes but I'm finding that I like the mini misty when I just have small little stamping projects to do so I'll show you how it works I have an entire stamp set here taped on it's still on the acrylic that's why I have the purple tape on there but I wanted to keep it on there so I could stamp all of these letters at the same time and I didn't want to have to take them all off and stamp or put them on individually so that's why it's taped on and if I stamp it not so great the first time, I leave everything in place, I ink it up and I stamp it again and I get a perfect impression. So that is why I can't live without the Misty. Now my last, or my second to last, are three dies. I didn't think I was gonna share any dies in this video, but these are the dies that I go to over and over and over again this year. This is the Altenew Alpha die, the, the Caps Alpha die. And it comes on this big sheet with tape on it. And I've left it on here because I don't have a magnet sheet big enough to store these letters. I could change it over to my magnet sheets and store them. I'm going to show you the how this looks on a card in just a minute. But first, let me share these other dies that I have with you. This one is, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, it's from Simon Says Stamp and it's for making labels. So I use this small one here when I had a bunch of sentiments to cut out and it cut them all out the same exact size so I didn't have to worry about cutting them with my paper trimmer and I still got a really great result. Here's a sample of a bunch I put on the card and it was so important that they were all the same width. So this die, I've used all of the sizes except for the largest one I think, but I've used all of the sizes all throughout the year. And then this last one is from Waffle Flower. It's the A2 rectangle layers. So you, got, you get all of these sizes and they're already on a magnet sheet. So see how they're all stuck there? But you get all these sizes so you can make any size rectangle you want. But the thing that I love the most is that they're so close in size that you could use two of them together and make a frame. And it could be any size frame. Here's a sample. I wanted this frame to be like right on the inside of the card. So I just used a couple of the sizes here to cut out that frame and it makes a really skinny nice frame. So I've used this a lot for panels, for frames, for all kinds of things, even sentiments um, with some of the smaller rectangles and I like that you have all these sizes to choose from. Just so you get a size reference, here is a couple of, of card samples that I used with that large alpha die. This is one that I'm, I've cut out the word wish with those letters and you can see that it fills an entire A2 size card panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half. 
This is the one that we use, the stars, the glacier paste. See how it looks like foil? It kind of dries down thin and shiny. So it looks more like foil than a paste. So I love that. And then here's the one that we did with the pearl metallics gel. And I've just cut out some letters and I've created a darker pink shadow for that hugs letter, added some gemstones. And these panels can be added to a card base and they're ready to go. So I just love that the size of those letters fills up that entire base. My last crafty supply I cannot live without is the Gemini Junior. I just purchased this last year. I have had it for a while. I use it a lot. I still have my manual die cutting machine, but I found that when you have this electric die cut machine and you have a lot of die cutting to do, it is such a a lifesaver. So you're not having to hand crank all your dies. It's very simple to build the sandwich. You want the metal plate facing up. I've seen some people kind of change the way their sandwich was made for this. So whatever works for you. But this cuts out everything perfectly. There is a metal shim you could also add. And I found that even my most difficult cover plates cut perfectly in the Gemini Junior because it has such a great amount of pressure. And so that is one of the things I love. See how I had to cut out a whole bunch of these hellos and I was stacking them up to make a stacked look for the sentiment. I couldn't have done that without the Gemini. That was a lot of die cutting. <laughs> so anyway, the Gemini Junior is obviously a staple and I can't live without it. I hope you enjoyed my list of my top 12 crafty supplies for 2019. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have linked all the products below if you're interested or want to take a closer look. You can also find out more on my blog. Thank you again for stopping by. I really appreciate it and all the thumbs up and likes and comments. You're the best. I'll be back real soon with some more inspiration and some information from Creativation. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.